Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Polly Shore. I'm here with my friend Ish. Ish, right here. What's up, Ish? Thank you. And welcome to my show uh, called, what do you know what it's called? The show? Comedy Circus. No, 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 no. Comedy it's called Circus. Shit I Know Nothing About. <laughs> um, and that's why I have my friend Ish here. Ish is, uh, uh, um, let me see. But your real name's not Ish. What's your real name? My real name is Ish Diag. Ishti what? Ishtiak Khan. Ishtiak Khan. Right. Ishtiak right. Khan. Right. right. And I wanted to interview you because I think, you know, people would never expect me to interview someone like yourself. Oh. Because I interview, when I talk to people, it's usually comedians or actors or stuff yeah. like that. But I thought it would be cool to interview you because you tell us what you what you do and who you are and uh, all that first stuff. First of all, thank you for inviting me, Polly. Mm -hmm. I was looking forward for this. And thank you for you know, inviting me. Yeah. I'm a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. I've been pharmacist for 27 years. Wow. And I've um, seen a lot of changes in the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. like, business. And For the uh, good or the bad? Both. Mm -hmm. Good in a way that new pharmacists, pharmaceutical companies are uh, introducing new drugs, new medications. They are very helping. They're helping our patients, uh -huh. our American people. Right. But the bad part is those the cost of those medications. Right. Well and yeah, I know that because you're my pharmacist. So you So know I that. deal with that. That's where I met this guy. Just so you guys know, you're my pharmacist at the uh, the Rite Aid on Vermont. Vermont. And yeah. Vermont and Sunset, Sun, right? Or yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood yeah. and Vermont. Yeah. And uh, so what I was uh, hoping through your program I can uh, I can tell American uh, uh, politicians or um, American lawmakers that we should considering consider to of lowering the price of these medications. Mm. Because well, there's we, also the generic ones. Even the generics. Yeah. New, okay. Let's just let's just. I, I'm more interested in you as a person and okay. where you're from and how you got into this and why you've been doing it. So you're from India. Yeah. India. Uh, no, no. I was born in Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. Right. Right. And. Um, uh, I've been here for since 1986. Since 1986. Yeah, I did my master's from University of Phoenix. And then, how did you get hooked up at, at Rite Aid Pharmacy section? Rite Aid Pharmacy section. Since I after, after I, my graduation, uh -huh. and uh, there was my internship uh -huh. in, at Rite Aid. Have you been there 27 years at Rite Aid? Only for one year, I worked for the VA hospital. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, in uh, San Francisco, uh, so, San Antonio. Yeah. So take me through a day like so, like mm -hmm. someone like myself or anyone. You, you're sitting there behind the counter, mm -hmm. and people come up to you, mm -hmm. and they're like, "And what do they say to you?" I mean, they, because you must you must deal with a lot of different types of people. Most people aren't because I stood in line at pharmacists, and people aren't happy. Mm -hmm. You never see people in the pharmacy line happy. Most of them are kind of like. Because you know, um, you're like a, in a way, you're kind of like a, 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 a what is it, like a drug dealer. A, yeah. But a drug dealer that's legal, a legal, legal drug dealer. No, but, but Polly, this not, that's not really true. I mean, uh, honestly, uh, Board of Pharmacy, they passed those laws that we have to talk to the patient. Mm. When we are giving the, dispensing the medication mm. to the patient, we have to explain them. It's right. all over. That's why we have a separate counseling section. Mm -hmm. We have to counsel the patient every day. Uh, your first question that you asked me was my day like like patient comes into my pharmacy. Yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy because of the uh, uh, first of all, they're at the doctor's offices. They spend three hours over there. Yeah. And uh, big lines, and they they can they come to my pharmacy. They wanted their prescription as soon as possible. Yeah. So my job is that they should. Why do you always have to ask people the date of birth? So I can give the patient correct medication to the correct patient. Right. Right. Have you ever given the wrong medication to the one? Correct? Not in my 27 years. Really? No. no like, do you ever give someone a Viagra and then you meant to give them like a Vicodin or anything? No. I mean, uh, the, there are people they wanted Vicodin and Viagra at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Because after they do their. Do business, you know what Propecia is? Yeah. Propecia is for the hair. Yeah. I took Propecia. Right. Don't you prescribe me Propecia? I mean, the the only side effect with the Propecia is your penis the, gets smaller. <laughs> What's so funny? That's the truth. I was telling you that's a, like a, the sexual side effect. I think that's the most appropriate word for me. But, but then what the, you take is right, it to, to, right. dis, to dis do it, and then you right. take the Viagra, and you right. got the penis, and you got the heart pill with the hair, and your penis is good, right? Right, right. But you know what I'm saying for real. Does everyone think I'm on drugs? 
Because I'm think, loud I, I, sometimes. I, I, I think you when you were first time I saw you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought you're on drugs. Right. You're Bec on you're on, on uppers. I thought. Yeah. yeah. Because there's a lot of. <laughs> because there's a no, dude. Because there's a lot of people that come in there. I mean, you're not a you're not a drug dealer, but to some people, maybe homelessy type people, they come in and they want right. Yeah. They want medication, and they come up to you and go, "Give me my right." right. right. Do you ever get that? What's the craziest story? Crazy because story. you're literally, dude, you're literally sitting behind the counter. Mm -hmm. Behind you, you have tons of drugs mm -hmm. or pharmaceutical right. drugs, right. and they come in and they want it. Mm -hmm. You ever get? You ever see that movie, Drugstore Cowboy? Uh, I've never seen. I haven't it's, seen it, but I heard about that. Yeah, basically, where they rob a. Right, right. So, is there anything? Right? Yeah, it happens. Uh, have some water. No, it's good. no, thank you. So it it happens. <laughs> it happens in my pharmacies uh, several times, and I've noticed like those um, drug addict and junkies. Wow. They came to my pharmacy and they wanted. The, they brought fake prescriptions. Wow. And we have a, our way of uh, finding out if the prescription is fake or not. Right. In our pharmacy, we have a, a central um, uh, server. It's called Cures. Mm. We can check any patient. Like yeah. you, Molly, uh, Polly comes to my farm pharmacy. Yeah, I can find out Polly in ever anywhere in America. If we got any control medication, I can. Find oh out wow! That. So if I see that there's a pattern of this medication they're taking as a control medication, like Narcos, like Vicodin, mm -hmm. Oxycodone. What's that? What's that one pill called? Beto? What's it called? Beto? Be uh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, um, an opioid. It's like, what well, names, name me the different opioids. Okay. Narco. Yeah. Narco. Vicodin. Vicodin. Oxycodone. Oxycontin. Percocet. Percocet. Percodin. Percodin. And, uh, there's a, uh, what about that de Demerol? There what about a, the stuff that Michael Jackson, what is that called? Oh, fen fentanyl. Oh, that, no, that, 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 that was, uh, no, what's it called? Something with the P, right? What's yeah. the one that Michael Jackson died from? Uh, uh, propofenol. Propofol, yeah, yeah that's propofol. some good shit. Right, right. right. Because cause I came in to see you recently. Do you know why I was there? Mm -hmm. Do you know why I was there, yes or no? Yes, I know. Why? You, you got some medication. For what? I do not know. I, I, you don't I, remember? No, I don't remember that. Well, it was because I had my, uh, I had a colonoscopy. Oh, yeah. You know, I had a colonoscopy. Oh, really? Remember, I had to drink the stuff. Right, and oh, right, right, right. right. Remember, you the give me the big right, thing? Big jar. right, right, right. And then you pour the water in Right, there. right. How did it go, your colonoscopy? I can't tell you that. That shit's yeah. private, dude. Oh, this really? is shit I know nothing about. No, <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, I had a colonoscopy, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And then from there, what happened was, is they also gave me a, st they checked my stomach, too. Okay, but well, that's called endoscopy. No, colonoscopy is in the ass. Right, and endoscopy the through the throat. Right. Yeah, yeah so right. they did both. Mm -hmm. So my ass was good. Mm -hmm. You know, I had no polyps. Polyps, or polyps. Or yeah, it was okay. Right. Good, that's good, good right? Because that's, that's, that's where you check ass cancer. That's, that's the, that's the precancerous thing. Right? Yeah. Right, if they don't. And then my stomach was a little, it was a little messed up, but they gave, you prescribed me some of the, the pills. I should have brought the pills that you prescribed me, but... Excuse me, because I burp a lot, you know. But what happened was, is excuse me, at the burp. What is that? Is that GERD? No, that's that, that's not a GERD. GERD is when the acid comes into your throat area. Uh -huh. That's just a gas. That, that's you know, a that, gas. Right, right, right. Yeah, I had um, I've had a lot of surgery. Mm -hmm. I had um, I had a hernia. Mm -hmm. I had a hernia. I had my arm. I cut my arm a long time ago. This one I was a kid. Uh -huh. And um, but. But what's it like being Polly Shore's pharmacist? Oh, I love it. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I love it. Every time you come to my pharmacy, you make us a smile, yeah. laugh, and you know. Yeah. And uh, especially uh, when a pretty girl's right next to you, yeah, you introduce yourself, uh -huh. regardless they know you or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you and think people that don't know me think I'm drunk, or do you think they think that I'm on drugs? Because you I, know me, so I, I, I think I think they think you're on drugs. They do, right? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What about the Asian guy? What's his name? The other pharmacist? Yeah, you know, he he, he, he doesn't have any opinion. I mean, he's, he's like professional. Because <coughs> I, mean, I yell at him, too. Really? Well, you see me yell at him. You, when you yell at everybody, but you're yelling as an undertone in it. It tells that you, you are, it's, 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 People know that you're very friendly. Friendly, yeah. 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 I mean, that's, I like that's, people. People, pe people can distinguish easily. Mm. If I mean, someone's yelling crazy yeah, or someone's crazy, yelling yeah. friendly. Yeah. 
So what? Are, so so what are some of the? So I'll tell you some of the pills that I take Go ahead. from the pharmacist. Right. So the Viagra pill. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the Viagra and the Cialis pill? Duration, time duration. Oh shit! Yeah. What? Uh, it is bit. Uh, it is a little bit more longer erection for the Cialis. Wow. Yeah, but basically they are both. Uh, they are all the same because it seems like it if you dilates take... the blood vessels, and uh, you know that's basically what it is. Improve the blood flow. Uh, blood flow to the PP. PP and. Uh, but it also makes your head sweat. If you also. Yeah, when your blood vessels dilate, that's what your head sweats. Yeah. yeah. Also, another thing is if you take a, it's not like sometimes you prescribe a Viagra, mm -hmm. and 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 you don't if you take the Viagra you don't want to take the whole thing. It's too much. Do you ever take a whole Viagra? Whole whole Viagra? Yeah, everybody takes. I mean, a whole one. People take whole Viagra. Oh my God, yeah. dude! Dave, and you take a whole Viagra? Yeah. Uh, a whole half, one? A half every time. A half, right? A half one, yeah. I take a sliver, dude. Yes. A quarter. <laughs> Sounds like you need some more. What about you? No, 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 no! I don't need some more. I'm just saying it's enough. Did but you, I, but I'm feel, happy the Viagra. Did you feel your heart rate? It goes up? I kind of do. Mm -hmm. I also feel like my face gets more red. Right, right. It's, it's facial flushing is called. It's common. But it's weird. It's, 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 it's weird it's though. Yeah, it's weird though. The Viagra pill makes my face red, but the Salus pill doesn't. You guys a longer duration. That's the whole thing. I mean, Viagra, you just feel like in about an hour, you're like, you're ready. Where's my girl? Right. Yeah. Or your goat. Or your Depend goat. if you're from Pakistan. Holy shit, god damn it, we got ish in the motherfucking place. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're learning stuff about, about this, so. Where's my cord? Where did you get that? I don't know, I'm just kidding. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then what about the Propecia? Okay, Propecia. Feel my hair, what do you think? Yeah, it's, it's really, it's better. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, no, you, you, you don't have any hair transplant. I think, no, you're, you're no, I think I was one of the first people to take the, the really? Propecia? Propecia. Right, right. And then there's... And that, that cares for your prostate too, you know that, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, I don't know how old are you, but at this time... You, you how old do you think I am? 42. You're right, 42. God damn it, things are looking good for me in Ishtar, Ishtar. Okay. Question. Mm -hmm. What about, um, I also take Ambien sometimes. That's okay. Let, let me tell you a little yeah, bit, little bit professional good. side on Ambien. Yeah, a little bit on the professional side. The, I was wanted, inter I, I, our interview's going good. Right? I wanted to talk. But about this is why. But this is why I wanted you on my talk show. Shit, I know nothing about. No, no, honestly, because I knew we were gonna be good together. Okay, you're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. That's dude. the that's, you're that's, my friend. That's the first word you say when you come to my pharmacy. What okay, do I let's say? go back to Ambien. What do I say? You're my friend, you're my friend, friend you're my, my friend. friend that's, dude. that's the jingle I remember. Yeah. Okay, so what I was telling you about is like uh, the, the Ambien. Right. What happened before Ambien, people were taking benzodiazepine, like diazepam. That's what I was saying, benzo, the, the, earlier. The, the, I said benzo. Benzodiazepine, yeah. diazepam, uh, temazepam, those kind of drugs. The problem with those drugs, they, they were very highly addictive. Highly people, people um, take like for a short period of time and benzo. they feel like benzo. I might want to come get some benzo from you. What do you think about that? I would. I mean, I would recommend. I mean, if, if ambient working better for you, you don't need benzodiazepine. Try to avoid those because right now you're 42 year old. Yeah. At the age of 52 and 60, when you reach that age, those benzodiazepines not gonna work for you. Wow. Because your body develop tolerance. You will not have enough receptors. Our brain cells dying every day. Millions of brain cells are dying. I, yeah, mine are really dying right. very no, every, severely. No, yeah. it's, it's the, it's, it started right off. That's the, the science is still working on that. That's the reason why mm. elderly people have uh, dementia. They have Parkinson's disease. These are the reasons. This is the reason they're, they're working on that. The problem was with the benzodiazepine, people take in the first like, oh, wow, man, I feel very good. I had a very good night's sleep. Wow. But the problem is long run, when patients start taking it every day and the long run after age, these drugs go can cause dementia. Wow. They can't, they can't, they are a huge side effect on those medications. So uh, we were going back, I'm going back to an Ambien. Ambien is l less side or least side effect of that kind of side effect mm. because it works only one receptor. Well, that's fucking good to know. Yeah. So people, if they wanted to start on any sleeping medication, I would recommend go on Ambien. Yeah. There's another kind of, the same kind of medication, Lunesta came out in the market. Yeah, Lunesta. Lunesta. How's that? That's the same as Ambien. Yeah. So less side effect compared to benzodiazepine. That was the, that is, I mean, a doctor should, you know, not prescribe 
especially with the elderly people because they have trip and falls. Yeah, yeah. Elderly people, they you know trip yeah. and they. Head. Well, the thing is with Ambien, like you prescribe me Ambien, right? Mm -hmm. You know that or you don't know that. You don't remember. Maybe, maybe, I yeah. don't know. Where, but the thing is, is when I take an Ambien, mm -hmm. I only take a quarter of it. Mm -hmm. I don't take a half. It's mm -hmm. too much for me. Mm -hmm. So I take a little quarter of it. But I think mostly it's for psych it's psychological. Because I think in your mind, if you know you have a little bit of some type of sleep medication, it makes you relax. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. why do people have insomnia? Because they're fucked up. Yeah. Because of things in their lives. Exactly. It's hard to just shut down. Right, right. Right? Right, right exactly. You're right. I mean, but, that's but, really but what it's you, about. You, you need, you need uh, therapy. You, you need, need therapy, therapy right. because it's like, right? Yeah, I like the word you said. The psycho psychological effect, like a placebo effect. Like you're taking quarter quarter pills, quarter of the MBN is, but your brain uh, kind of knows that okay, I got something inside. Uh, yeah. So and this is, that's the same thing I take with all the pills, except for Propecia. Mm -hmm. I take a, the whole pill. Okay. Yeah. But how's your PP? I'm, well, not, I'm not asking the anatomy of that. I mean, you, did you see any side effect of that? Yeah, it's, 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 you know, it's softer. Okay. You know, that's why, <laughs> that's why you need, you know what I mean? That's why you need the Cialis. Okay. The Cialis yeah. of the Vagra to back that shit up. See, now you know that the Propecia and Cialis, the, they work together? They do, right? Uh, yeah. How? I mean, that's, the, I mean the, if you get a, if you buy a Propecia, the Cialis sales will go high. It's called supply and demand. Let me ask you a question. Do sure. people take Cialis and Propecia at the same time? They do. All the is time. it very common? Very common. So people I mean, come I, in... I've seen patients with 25 year old uh -huh. taking Cialis and Propecia. Wow. Yeah. This is good. Well, we could probably talk for hours, but I just wanted to sit down with you. Mm -hmm. This has been uh, ish. This is, uh, I think we should do another episode Anytime. because I think, I think, excuse me, I think what's going to happen, see my GERD or no? No, it's not GERD. It's still a sensation. Yes. GERD is you like if you acid you if you will have a burning sensation right. on your esophagus area. Yeah. So you don't have so, that. So what I think is going to happen is because less is more with the show, you know, shit I know nothing about. I think what's going to happen is we're going to put this on the internet. Sure. We're going to put it out there. And I think people are going to respond mm -hmm. and they're going to say, I want to see more Ish and Polly. Sure. You know, Anytime. so this could be the first one, yeah. and then we can come back, and you can give me more information. Anytime, and you uh, could be like if, the show's if, pharmacist. If, if, anytime, dude, you're like do, you're like my doctor, Phil. Anytime, but one thing I want to tell you, like I would appreciate if you have some list of the medication that your your audience wanted to know about it. I can go over with them, just like you know, we can talk about those yeah, medications. Yeah, yeah. Not in the detail, but at least I can give you some some you know some good information about those. That medications. That sounds good. Right. All right, you guys, well, this has been Ish on uh, Polly Shore Shit I Know Nothing About. He's my pharmacist at Rite Aid in uh, Silver Lake. If you guys visit Silver Lake and you want to see him, he's there in the back, right? Yes. If there's anything you want to say in Pakistani language, goodbye or something. And Your wife's probably watching. You want to say hi to her? I love you, Ruhi. Thank you. What about your kids? Oh, I love my daughter. What's her Hiba. name? Hiba. I love my daughter, Hiba, my son. Abdul Hadi, Abdul Hasib, I love him. Oh they're, in the, they're in the medical school. Wow. Already, UC San Diego. Thank you very much. Yeah, and then what about any friends in Pakistani? Because this is all the way. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. You, you, okay, my Pakistani friend. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is Polly Shore. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm here for you guys. Yeah. And thank you very much for supporting us. Yeah. Thank, thank you so thank much, you. Ish. Thank you. Later. <laughs>